Hi, I'm Sam, the founder and product designer here at Adaptalox. Xenon flash arms give you the capability to freeze fast moving subjects with a powerful burst of light. The Xenon flash arms are fully flexible, so you can control light in direction. They have our patented magnetic connector on the end here, and they can be used either by themselves or alongside our LED lighting arms when connected to a control pod. The flash arm has six indicator lights, a xenon flash tube built here, and then on the underside we have a discharge button and an infrared communication window. This is the Adaptalox control pod. It provides the power and control to any connected lighting arms. It has a built-in 12 hour rechargeable battery, a quarter by 20 inch thread on the back, and at the rear we have a USB-C port for either charging or providing the pod with continuous power. The quarter by 20 inch thread at the back can either be used to mount the Adaptslot Studio to a camera or to mount it to any other photography accessory. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to mount it to a mini tripod. To connect lighting arms to the control pod, you simply insert them, you will feel a magnetic pull and then give them a slight twist. You will notice that these indicator lights will illuminate. The green light means the flash lighting arm is connected and receiving power from the control pod and the red lights indicate the power level of the flash head. It is absolutely crucial that your control pod has boost mode turned on. To do this, we simply hold the top dial for about three seconds and with the flash arms, you will see more of the red lights will illuminate. The default power level is usually level three, but if your pod is well charged, like this one is here, it can sometimes be level five for a short period of time. To trigger the flash arms, you will need the Adaptalox flash emitter. The emitter connects to your camera's hot shoe, and when you press the shutter button, it will fire out a modulated infrared beam of light which in turn will trigger your flash arms. The emitter is powered by two AAA batteries which are easily user replaceable. On the bottom of the emitter, we have a power button which can turn on and off the power indicator LED here. This LED here is a low battery indicator. We have a test button which is used to test the range between your emitter and the flash arms. We have the hot shoe which connects to your camera and we have this wheel here which connects a control pod on top of the emitter, meaning you can have the whole Adaptalox Studio with the emitter mounted on top of your camera. To use the Adaptalox emitter, we simply need to slide it onto our camera's hot shoe. We then need to tighten this wheel here to make it secure on our camera. And then we just need to simply power it on by pressing the power button underneath. This is now ready to trigger our flash arms when the camera's shutter button is pressed. Another thing to note is to make sure you have silent modes turned off and your camera's settings are set to trigger an external flash. Next, what we need to do is position our flash arms around our subject. And all I need to do is bend the flash arms to where I'd like them, controlling the lighting direction. So I'm going to shoot these from either side of the daisies. To adjust the power of a connected arm, press the dial once and you will see the LED pulsing. Rotate the dial clockwise to increase the level of a flash arm. Rotate the dial anti-clockwise to decrease the level of a connected flash arm. To move on to your next connected arm, press the dial once again and your next connected arm will start to pulse. Again, repeat the same steps. Once you are happy with your desired flash level, leave the pod alone for five seconds and it will save the desired settings. Level five or five red indicator lights showing is the fastest but least powerful flash mode. This mode is ideal for freezing fast moving subjects such as insects, for example. Level two is the slowest but most powerful setting. 
This is a good all-rounder flash which can be used on slower subjects or to get as much light into your lighting environment as possible. Level 1 is a special low power battery mode which will keep your flash arm operating even though your pod is low on battery. I can also adjust all of the connected arms wirelessly by using the Adaptalux app. This gives me the flexibility to adjust my lights without disturbing my lighting environment or subject. Finally, we need to test the range of the emitter with the flash arms. The IR window on the bottom of the flash arm needs to have a line of sight with the emitter, either directly or via reflecting it off a service. We can test this by pressing the little test button underneath the emitter and checking to see if both arms flash. One of the many advantages with the Adapt Studio is the ability to change our lighting environment very quickly. We can do this by changing the lighting direction or by adding some lighting effects to our setup. Every flash arm comes with 10 flash gels that can be used to add colour and basic diffusion to your Xenon flash lighting arms. They can simply be added by sliding them over the head of the flash arm like so. We also have a selection of Pro Hoods which can add extra diffusion control to our lighting setup. These can be added by sliding them over the top of the flash head and they will magnetically attach. Now that we have taken some amazing photos, it's time to pack up Adapt-Slot Studio. To remove the Pro Hoods, they simply pull straight off like so. The flash gels are also the same. To remove a flash lighting arm, we simply pull it straight out of a control pod and then we hold this discharge button for 5 seconds to safely discharge the flash capacitor. We can now do this with the other flash arm. And once all the connected flash arms have been removed from the control pod, the control pod will turn off. As for the emitter, we can unscrew the locking wheel and slide it off our camera's hot shoe and press the power button to turn the emitter off. If you need any more help using the Adaptalox Flash products, then please visit the help section on our website. If you have any questions, then please do contact us. We are always happy to help. Thank you for watching and see you next time.